which really isn't an excuse for like not getting your stuff out there. <laughs> like you have a fantastic real-time animation software like Unreal, which is accessible to you to use. You have the knowledge base to be able to learn that via YouTube or so on. I mean, I learned Unreal by watching YouTube, by the way, just mm -hmm. so you know. Um, but also you have a means of getting it out there for people to watch your stuff, which is, as you know, it's equally as hard. You know, it's making the movie or the game or whatever content, also getting people to watch it as well. Yeah. And I think like, you know, things like Unreal is being used by some of the top studios in the world, but also being used by some of the best independent developers in the world. Yeah. So, I mean, you mentioned that you used YouTube to teach yourself. What other advice could you give to, you know, young creatives who want to get into making their own stuff, let's say on Unreal yeah. or just on kind of their own computers back at home? I would say the first thing, obviously, is to download Unreal. But the other thing also is um, don't try to learn Unreal entirely <laughs> because mm -hmm. let's face it, no one knows the software inside out. Yeah. So, for example, for me, what I wanted to do was I made a list of four things, which was how do I install Unreal? How do I load it up? Like that combined in the first one. Um, how do I bring a camera in? Because I came from live action, I wanted to bring cameras in. Um, how do I bring an asset, which is a tree, a box or whatever, in there? And how do I move that camera? So once I had that, I'm like, okay, that's one shot. What if I made three, four, five shots? And all of a sudden, I've got a sequence as you would do in live action. Yeah. I then, my next lesson, the next weekend, was how do I render those shots as a quick time and bring that into DaVinci Resolve, which is also free, by the way, or if you've got an Adobe subscription, Premiere. And all of a sudden, the minute you start seeing shots play back to each other, you put some music in there and some dialogue, oh my God, you got that butterfly feeling. It's a movie, it's a sequence. And then you got the, you know, the motivation to like, what else can I do? Okay, how do I bring animation? How do I use motion capture? Yeah, yeah. How do I bring some effects? And all of a sudden, the happiness starts building up. At the end of the month, you got a fully fledged rendered sequence. Yeah. That's the way to learn it. Awesome. And so like, I'm sure it's clear to a lot of the filmmakers here that you're a hugely inspirational figure because you're one of these people who has just gone out and done it themselves from start to finish, created a project. Who were some of those figures for you kind of looking into the industry or just some of the films or games or kind of interactive narratives that sure. kind of spurred you on? I mean, for me, like I started in my career like working in, like obviously I started in, vis in video games, but my big career was in visual effects, right? I was a visual effects artist and then I became a VFX supervisor and I get to work on set and see that essentially my film school wasn't going to film schools. I didn't go to film school, it was working on other movies, whether it's short films, whether it's music videos, whether it's big movies like Hellboy or so on. Um, but and then I started to like look at what other filmmakers are doing. For me, that's someone like Gareth Edwards, who was a visual effects artist just like me, who went up and did his movie Monsters. Um, that was a huge inspiration for me to see other filmmakers that were in the same position as I was and to be able to go out and do it. So that's a huge thing. But of course, you then look at like other game developers. And for me, like someone like Hideo Kojima is probably like my biggest inspiration because he is essentially a filmmaker, but he utilizes the world of video games to tell these very, very layered, complex stories in a way that feels big, like a tentpole movie. So that, those are the two kind of people that really inspire me. Amazing. Well, those have been some very insightful, very comprehensive answers. So yes. thank you so much, Has. It's been my lovely pleasure. to have you here. Thanks for having me, guys. Cheers. Thanks. Have a good rest Bye. of the festival. Yeah. So obviously it's been a very fun day today at BFI South Bank.